Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush, St. Lawrence River today, first day, official practice, you could call it, for the FLW Coast uh, event. It's uh, Monday, so we got three days, well, it's Monday at noon, uh, real rough, last BFL, a lot of stuff got broke, including myself, can't see it, but I bust up my leg this morning, uh, we won some batteries in the last tournament as well, or in pre a couple weeks ago. Carrying around my truck, park on the slant, I throw my suitcase on top of it this morning, and the battery falls out right onto my foot, slices it open. Nothing's broken because I'm still walking, but I got her bandaged up. Probably should get stitches, but who's got time for stitches when you got to catch a bunch of smallmouth bass? And that's what we're going to try to do today. That's all coming up. As gorgeous of a day it was, it was a little difficult for me to uh, to find them. I got a couple areas that I have some confidence in, but didn't really uh, find anything too exciting today. So we got one more day. Actually, I'm heading out with uh, Steve the next day. Beautiful morning, gorgeous morning on the river. Steve's actually part of the Gajo Bates Pro Staff as well, and. Um, we bounced around, ran into a couple fish. So it was a pretty good day. Boy, I'd take five of these. Five of these will get you. Fishing with my buddy Steve, Gajo Bates Pro Staffer, and I think we're off to a good start. That's two, right? That's two. Well, the bites were still far and few between. Nothing really grouped up. There were some good, healthy fish, but not a lot of consistency is what I discovered. Well, guys, practice was a little difficult today. I found a few fish, got a little stretch, and there's some potential that one was pushing close to six, and we caught a couple other small ones there. Oh, so the lake is actually uh, in play for this event and the winds are going to be calm you'd be surprised I'm actually not going to be running to the lake uh, due to the fact that we're on the far east end of the St. Lawrence River of Messina it would take two hours uh, to get there and then two hours back and then you'd have to fill up three times so it'd be four plus hours of your day gone and I think you just run past too many decent fish although you can get a mega bag out there it has not been consistent enough for me this year, uh, especially in the last couple weeks. Uh, you could definitely get a 26, 27 pound bag, but it's too risky. You need to be on and certain that there's some fish, and I don't have enough time. I just ran out of practice time. You know, too many tournaments, too many weekends in a row. I've been up here for three, I've been fishing every day since I mean, I'm probably on day 22 now, and it's definitely taken a toll on me and my equipment and my gear and my organization. Everything's trashed. But I think I found a few fish not too far from takeoff. 
within a half hour, 40 minutes. That's doable. And hopefully we can uh, put some together. I got one more day of practice, half a day tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just rigging up right now, getting ready for it. So, um, not super excited, but optimistic. What a fiasco, though. I'm so glad that the baits I needed were in this bin because I do not want to dig in this truck for all the baits. What's that? That's all I got for cut. That's all you got? And that's you put me to shame, Travis. I know. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I do have to reload my gajos though. Because they so there's a secret color in here I can't show you guys, but we're running out. Here we go. Just got done with the meeting not too long ago. Got everything rigged up and ready to go. I have a long day tomorrow on boat 80, I believe. Don't have to be until four o'clock. <sighs> My parents. Anyways, I don't have to be until four. And uh, guys can run to the lake. It's gonna take you two hours one way, so four hours. And uh, I chose not to. I'm gonna, st I, it's been, I've been going back and forth all day, all afternoon, and just come to the decision that I think my best bet is to stick in the river and try to get 22 pounds. Can I? The fish are there. I just don't know. Well guys, this is gonna conclude our tournament practice video for the FLW Costa. Next video that'll be uploaded will be the actual tournament. Let's see how this all goes down. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any likes and comments below. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.